Previously on Days Gone, Sarah continues to feel like she's been brainwashed by this militia. It's not right and Deacon can feel it's not right. The Doc wanted to see us as well and he also understood our history. He could see that we were a gang member, that we were an MC member, but he showed compassion. We also had to rescue Taylor, the dumbass. He got himself caught with a bunch of marauders and then subsequently had his ear chopped off so we had to go in and save him and kill them too. Sarah and Deacon also heated off into a little fight, Sarah asking why he's still here and Deacon replying with, well, I can just leave. We also did an errand for Lieutenant Weaver. He's been planning to build something that's quite interesting, something that involves napalm, and polystyrene was the last ingredient to this invention of his. He lets us in on the secret, literally. He shows us a Molotov, a napalm Molotov. This is what we're going to use to burn all of the freakers to the ground. And hopefully we get to use it in this episode. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Days Gone episode. So previous episode was quite a doozy. We actually managed to get to see the napalm molotov that weaver has been building he actually showed us he was over over the over in that kind of bonfire area over there and he launched what looked like a vase or a vase into the thing and it just grrr, massive fireball anyway we're going to be doing uh, the colonel's objective today is mission for us uh, the bounty hunting uh, mission specifically there is a man up here that we need to try and kill or or get our hands on, we need to take him alive apparently. So we're just going to move out straight away. We've got one resupply in our bag, we should be okay. Now, previous episode we also learned that Sarah's getting a little bit, just a little bit, a uh, little bit too serious about this militia stuff. Um, something tells me that she's about to crack or the colonel's about to, you know, pull resources away from her, her research and things like that and she's going to snap and everybody's going to be at the brunt of it, including Deacon. I don't know what's going to happen next. Again, this is my first playthrough, guys. Just remember that. I don't know anything about this game or anything about the story. So, it's 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 so interesting because you start thinking of, like, how is this going to play out? Is the Colonel going to turn into, like, a Ripper guy? Is he going to follow the, you know, the stages of the Rippers to try and become a Zealot, you know? Is Sarah eventually just going to give up and snap and start, like, you know, hurting people and go, What is going on with my bike? <laughs> that was kind of wild. But it's cool. It's cool to see things like this. Oh. Got another job for you. Come to the Diamond Lake outpost. Oh, Curry's got an objective for us. Another thing is, we need to increase our trust level and we also need to increase our, uh, our, our funds, basically in this area because I don't have a lot of money in this area. At least camp credits. I've only got like 418 camp credits. Oh, made the mistake. I made the mistake of driving right through them. Uh, I'll go down here. This is the place. We could just... Yeah, there we go. I need to go here. Right, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Why does he sound out of breath? Did anyone else hear that? Whoa, what's going on? That was a wee bit of lag right there, I think. I've got no suppressor for this thing. God damn it. Forgot about that. What am I investigating here? No, not that way. Oh, is this the guy we need to investigate? Wait, 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 wait. Give me that, give me that scrap. Give me that scrap. Need scrap. Is there something in here that I need to try and find? Maybe? It's not been very specific. No, not this way. Okay, not this way. Okay, fine. Okay, alright. Is it maybe down here? Take a closer look. 
Ah, oh wow, he shoved him over the edge. Which let's way? let's fig let's look at this. Let's see what happened. There you are. Colonel, I've spotted him. Oh! Come here. No, he's Shoot escaping. Bike, Deke. Shoot Come bike. on. Come on. Let him get away, Deke. Come on. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, we need to chase him. Something tells me I should have got NOS. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get back on the road. Man, he's hauling ass. He's really hauling ass. Oh my god! What the hell is that? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what a start to this game. The asshole ran into us. Oh, what a. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let's let's get the RPD ready. This In fact, it. no. Let's let's go get the bike. Let's go get the bike. Aim it the right direction. No, no, it's back that way. Yeah, Deacon, shut up a second, man. Right. Now, if I go here. And I get my... Oh, God, I've boxed myself in. I've actually boxed myself in. Right. This is an excellent start to the game, guys. This is, this is an excellent start to today's episode. Right. All right. Where? Right. Where are you? Show me where you are. Gotcha. Colonel, I've spotted him. Damn it. No. Come on. Quick. Hey! Go, 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 go. Okay, I rattled him a good few times there. Come on, Corporal! Why are you doing this? Come here. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god! Man, he's going off road and everything! Dude! Oh, he crashed! He crashed! Shoot the bike, Dick! Shoot the bike! Get in there! Come on! Yes! Oh my god! What did you do? You son of a, a bitch! No! No! Okay, what the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Sorry, pal. Talk to the colonel. Okay, that was a weird start. Also, colonel, <laughs> I've got him alive. Transmitting coordinates now. Corporal, good. I'm sending a patrol now. Report back to me. Get it out. Oh, more ammo, more ammo, more ammo. Let's get the ammo. Let's get the ammo. Oh, let's get it. There we go. Up the ante. Let's go. More ammo. That's what we like to see. Oh, what a start to the episode, guys. Sorry about the uh, the weird start. It's been a really strange start. Let me see the... That... Did he just... That... That's not how that works. Is that not belt fed? It is belt fed! That's belt fed! Okay, that's a wee bit strange. I'm going to get a lot of ammo back for this. And we're going to go back to the base, it seems. Oh, man. What a start to this episode. First I die because I don't have the speed to get onto that. <laughs> I don't get the speed to go off that ramp. 
Die. Wait. He he purposely avoided her. The computer actually made me miss her. It forced me to move. Oh god, crows. More crows. I don't want to deal with the crows. I like corvids, but not these ones. These ones are bastards. Okay. Some start to the episode. Hopefully... What the hell's that? Hopefully things go a little bit smoother from here. As if it is right now. Whoa, don't hit the tree. Really throwing the bike all over the place here. So, next mission, guys. I wonder what it is. I wonder what we'll be doing. It seems like we're going to be talking to Sarah, maybe? I think we'll be talking to Sarah. Either Sarah or Weaver. I like how Deacon's kind of on board with the, the idea of the Napan Molotov. I mean, it's a cool idea. It's a cool weapon. I kind of want it. I kind of want that weapon. <gasps> Look at the money we've got! What? Okay, seems like we are talking to Sarah. Okay. Sarah, please don't start a fight with me today, please. Not, not right now. Okay, we need to wait until daylight. And then we'll have a little chat. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's... This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm, I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Well, that was a change. That's a twist. Okay. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. Though I gotta admit, it's been a while. Hmm. I don't you like this. Bike? But, uh, I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with... The... Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the Colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Uh, uh, uh. Here, this is my tent. Oh. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. All right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. She's got an AK on her bike! She's got Kalashnikov on her bike! <laughs> come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Oh, now, she, you. now she's showing us stuff. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the Colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah, well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take for the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. Uh, are we not? Are we not looking at the tree? The tree that's quite obviously right there. I don't like this. Something wrong here. I don't like this. What's going on? 
Why is there a tractor just sitting there? Woman, where are you taking me? <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... Never mind. Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. <laughs> she said the here, thing off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. She said the thing. I remember. That's the that's been the the mission objective. Hey, so I gotta for ask, a lot of uh, these. All this stuff, the the yeast, the silicon. Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a virucide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. Oh, so she's creating her own virus, it seems. <laughs> she's creating a virus to kill a virus. Hmm? Does that work? Does, does, does that work? A virus side? Is that like a, a pesticide for a virus? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive? started putting up roadblocks of their own and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food. Sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look. It's gonna sound stupid, but um, that night in Farewell, my mongrels ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Okay. Asking questions, are we? Okay. Here, I see I how it is. It. <laughs> You've been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. <laughs> what? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. I like how Sarah's got a Kalashnikov. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No. I like how Sarah's uh, got a Kalashnikov. Boost you up there. Oh, are we boosting now? You ready? Yeah. Uh, Leo. <laughs> right, got Sarah. It. Open the door. Here, watch your head. Got it. Oh, just gonna. Okay, that's 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 easier. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. Ooh, it was boy! So long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Ah, children! Sarah, you do understand that there are children here. Ah, damn it, Roots. Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down with us. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you got damn news. No, come on, let's just go around.
I've got an RPD. I'm living here, Jim. Place up pretty good. I have an RPD. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? Here, let me try. <laughs> can I jimmy it? That's such a silly question. Of Good course fish. I can jimmy this. Not so hard. Could have just went through the easy way. Here, here. Could have just used the bullets. Coming. What have we got? Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. Right. Wait, what's she doing? Huh? Are you ready? Push! Ah, oh, she's dragging it. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh, shit. Back, 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 back. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right, well, why don't we find another way? No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. What? We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... Come up on top of here. You lay down cover and fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up tight. All right. Hello, boys. I have guns. Come on down. It's clear. I could have done this without your help. I have an RPD. I have literally one of the strongest guns in this we game, no I think. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Oh, you right, it's gonna bring no, in more. Hee hee! <laughs> Let's shoot them all! Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Are we going up here? Let's, Let's see look. if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. Right, oh, I'll look over here. Uh, come over here. There's, there's a way up here. Anything? Hey, over here. There's an open window. No, I said it was going to be an open window. She's come taking on. credit for my find. It. I'll shoot yeah. you in the ass, woman. Yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah. Shit, shit, shit. God damn it! Yo, what's cutting my jeep? Find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! That was easy. Well, this this is actually quite easy. Um Give me a second. Ah, okay. I was having fun. <laughs> oh God, why are we laughing? I don't know. You know, I, am, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. Man, this place is a shit tip. Here, let me go first this time. Oh, you're gonna go first? Yes, okay. Whatever you say. I'm fine with that. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. Actually. I think we can get through here. Oh. The door's jammed. Here. Yeah, I got this. I got it. See? I told you. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. 
<laughs> his face. Well, his face. Do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. His face, though. Oh my God. Whoa! Somebody doesn't know how to drive. It seems. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. It looks clear. Is it actually clear, though? Shit. No. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh? Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. I can Just gotta see a get way through in. these barriers. There's a way in right there. I'm aiming at it. Uh, see, before you start like uh, doing your thing, I'm just gonna quickly have a little nosey around, see if I can find something. Hey, yeah. I'ma take that. More ammunition. That's always a good thing to find. Some more Maybe rags. Sure. Yeah, yeah, Sarah. Yeah, I already. Hey. Another open I window. I already Got saw it. it. Oh, Here, I let guess. Me boost you up again. Uh, only this time. You... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, alright? What? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's not good. Sarah, hold on! Come on! Come on! Up, 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 up! No, no, no! Oh, sir! God damn it, Sarah! 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 Oh my God! She killed no. a few. So many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure did you okay? did you see her face? Yeah. Did you see her face? Killed and the fact that she was still oh, I know, I know. It's just she was still trying to I'm fire. Going. Let's go. Dude, she's messed up. That's she's also not reloaded the gun. Let's check this door. Can you open it? No, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. Se to Sarah away. ain't doing too Tell hot right someone now. Someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? Excuse me. Locked. Yeah, this is all. Th th these barricades are all from the inside here. I don't know what you're looking for. Like, there's nothing here. Okay, sure Jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means there's gotta be a way out from the roof. Come on. You know, I was expecting like maybe a rager to burst down that door, like somebody had barricaded the stuff inside. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. I'm not boosting you again, you're boosting me. Oh, hey, look. A vehicle. Sorry, here. Uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Right, let's go. Yeah. Okay, push. Why don't we just get, like, petrol or gasoline for these vehicles? This thing looks indestructible. Look at it. 
It's got a winch, it looks armoured. Why are we not driving around in these things? Far enough? Yeah, 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 hold up. I'm you going first. Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. Just really wish we didn't have to kill them. Oh, oh, we killing them. We, we are killing them. We're killing all the shits, all right. I'd like for you to not do that. That's the last of them. Oh, this axe! I kind of like this. Well, I kill the newts? No, but I mean, you gotta admit they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Okay, I found the way in. Are you gonna jump down? Are you gonna? All right, cool. I'll jump down then. I'll jump down. Okay, Here, you're gonna help me down. Your hand. Okay. Yes, help me down. D that did nothing. Careful. Steady. And he's gonna flatten. He, she's gonna flatten him. I got this. All right. Drop. There we go. With my axe all bloody. Oh, not only are they annoying, but they smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is going to be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. Okay, that's just a normal classroom. He's, he's got a claw through it against his nose. No wonder, though. Like, god damn, this place must be absolutely foul. I wonder where it is. Let's do this. Excuse me, Hen. I think you'll find that it's a uh, my job to deal with these. Stay put. Keep your head down. I am the HMG. That was close. I like how it rolled back down there. That's it. Come to my bullets. It's as clear as it's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. Vault. Let's go. Another gonna bounty. get all these bounties because I need money. I need my money. You guys know this. Man, these guys did not do very well when it came to like, you know. Attacking us? <laughs> you just straight up massacred these people. That's what happens when you've got an LMG. I mean, you could call it an HMG if you really wanted to. It do be kind of heavy though. Okay, let's leave. Where are you going? Where are you? Deacon, stay down. Wait. Yeah, got it. Oh.
Hold on, I have an idea. I can make pipe bombs. How you doing? Give me that. It's clear. It's right, Close. let's go. Right, you get okay. the centrifuge. I'm gonna go up here and just quickly I'll go through all the. Uh, go, just go through all the pockets. Let me, let me, let me, let me see what you got here. That was a really big yeah. gun. Sort of noticed that. I mean, mine's is better. Mine's is way better. Hold on. There's a... Uh... Okay, I got the swarmer ears. Right, we can leave now. I just have to get the swarmer ears. Okay. Let's go. There's more of them. A lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. Bro, up here you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. What? What? Two heavies. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. That was that was rude. Okay, load. What's up, my man? Oh, did you hear it? Don't. Oh, my king. LMG king. Let's go. I'm coming to you. See before you see before you even ask me to come over and do that. Let me just go through this guy's uh, pockets right now. There's a lot of stuff here that I need to search. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna take that. I'm going to go over here, go through your pockets, and go through your pockets. Let me grab that ammo. Let me go round here, what we got. Oh, we got a bad boy that kind of dunked his head against the wall. And we've got a few more over here, I think. Aha! Uh, and you. Give me you. And you. Uh, I just forget about him. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. What uh, happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Oh, man. I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. Here's Jeez! Here's okay! This way. Yeah. I know where the bike is. Can I say thank you? No. Okay. 
You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. There's some serious, like... Ugh. Why... It's as if he can't do anything right. Like, she's showing signs of, like, when she was, you know, clicking in the empty mag. She was trying to shoot with, obviously, an empty gun. She was traumatised. Uh, shut up, you. Right, we're gonna have a wee hey, talk with this boy. How's life? Uh, uh, woman troubles. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Should we get the Papa Shah? Should we get the Papa Shah? A reasonable rate of fire and ammo capacity make this an easier to control close range weapon. It has got a higher damage, we're gonna get it. Hey, now that's some hardware. Huh? Thanks, my dude. Saying. Thanks, my dude. I want you to just resupply there everything for me right here. Because uh, we're running on a low budget right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Upgrade the hell out of that thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. This guy's cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love Jacob. He's, so, he's, he's got the look about him that he's just like, I, I hate, I hate, I've got two guns that have got drum magazines. I've got two guns with drum magazines. Oh, I'm so, oh, yeah. I love this. I love this. This is so good. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle of all of this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Is that lesbian? You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Me estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go. No, Saint no, Dan. no. I don't think so. Co Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Hmm. What was that all about? Was that a lover's quarrel? A lover's tiff? All right, Taylor, how you doing, mate? <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to. Let's go talk to. Um, let's go talk to Sarah. That's it, that's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath that I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my god, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an no, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? 
Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh my God, if you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel, Captain. Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step on his status. <laughs> uh, I don't like what is this. What's that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. Uh huh. I think it makes more sense now. Why? utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. When you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised oh my God. you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I don't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. It's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problem? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> well, that sounds serious. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean... How's Matt gonna take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Guys, I don't like this. Something bad's gonna oh my happen. God. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh... Goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to. I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him 
struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. Just to let you know, I'm not in control of this. Like, this is going by itself, that's why it's slow. Otherwise, we'd be going at breakneck speed right now. <laughs> I wonder what's on the other side of this tunnel, or if it's been blocked up. I need your help to move that out of the way. Oh my god, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. I like that. We ain't gonna run into them. Are you crazy? <laughs> we already brought the floods to them. That was easy. That was too easy. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Something bad's gonna happen. Sarah, go on the bike. Come on, chop, chop. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Oh my god. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. We're back in the worse, north. But yeah. We're back in the north. Yes. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Okay, let's see what's gonna go on down right here. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. You guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh my god! What is it? Nothing! It's... What the hell? Look at this! There's so much food here! Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power is still on. That's 
8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. All right. <laughs> what the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Go, oh, come on. What's so going on? Someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. Oh my god. No, I wasn't here. Oh my god. They straight up massacred all these people that were trying to leave. Oh, the Papa Shadow. Oh, this gun. This gun's like... This gun's just history right here. It's just an excellent gun. Okay, Sarah, do your thing. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Oh. Come on, there's another one over here. Okay. We still need to be quiet, though. So, okay, so why is... There's a helicopter um, right there. What'd you call it? Airy? Why is Airy working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down. And th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Hmm. There's a helicopter right there. There's a helicopter right there. We could leave. What are we doing here? Let's leave! There's a helicopter right there. God damn it. I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh God, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. Ideas. Loads There's of ideas. Fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. We're walking back towards where the crows were. Look how much food there is here. There's corn everywhere. 
Well, I, I think I figured out where we're going. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Oh, good shot. Yeah. Have you done that before? Yeah. Yeah, once or twice. Up we go. This. Why don't you let me go in first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Dean, up? Dean, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Agent oh, Fire! Get down. Mother fuck you. were saying? Yeah. Oh, this world stop stopping anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point up. Oh my god, here we go again. Y'all dead? Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Her voice is driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Oh, Warning. trespassing, Deadly huh? Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Coming. Yo, rent a cop, so what we got here, my dudes. Dude, like, clear. why? Oh, he has a vest on. He has an actual vest on. My dude. We gotta get up those stairs and Alert. through the sky bridge. Alright, I'm with you. Are you serious, my dude? Are you serious? Okay. You. Yeah. Right, Sarah, open the door. Sarah, door. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID two zero zero seven six five nine. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID two zero zero seven six five nine. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overwritten. Alert. Alert. Oh, shut this the fuck is up a level me. 4 alarm. <sighs> they must not have locked out inner security. security. You ready? Oh, hell yeah. Let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Just open the door. Where'd you come from? Uh... Shit. Warning. Sniper Deadly force is authorized for use Assume. against all traffic. <laughs> Warning. Deadly mm. Come on. There's more you I see him. Oh, that man's head just went bonk. <laughs> oh, what do we have to deal with? Oh, hello, mate. Oh, that blood splatter, though. <laughs> it's time for the RPD. It's time for the RPD. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Security personnel to the police building. Well, ready? Yeah. Let's go! Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, Deadly come here. Save. A lot's changed. Against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly Let's make sure it's clear. Okay, I'll make sure it's clear. Seems clear to me. There ain't nothing. Oh, there's, there's lots of. Oh, how are you? Nothing here. What else have we got? We've got loads of stuff just sitting on the. Oh. It's clear. Same Alert. here. Alert. Yep. This is a level four. 
I just threw I just threw the drum mag at her. <laughs> I just threw the drum magazine at her. Yo, is it clear yet? Okay, it's clear. Virus research. Okay. Right, it's fully it's fully clear. Let's get in that bitch. Come on, let's try the door. Look, Sarah Irene would have still there. Two zero zero seven six five nine security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert. Alert. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Oh, fucking bitch. Well, hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Yeah. Well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Wait, can I not get up there? There's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? <sighs> Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. Okay, what? I'm following you now. Come on, Sarah. Alert. Jog. Alert. This is a level four Can we not just make, like, a chemical Security real fast? To the maintenance building. Come on. Oh, she's gonna go on a PC? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Morning. Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. Oh! Right, here's your ID code, ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009, you got that? Uh, 5429009, uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Ooh, let's go! Ah, come here! Oh, I wanna go through. I want. I wanna go through. I wanna go through. Use the RPD. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on let me. Be right. done. No, I wanna go through that door. <laughs> I wanna go through here. that door. I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's. Up you go. Come on. Oh, we need you. Right. Okay. She. She's not even there. Hey. Yep. Uh, yep. Right. Yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Okay. Just. Okay. Go. Get. Just, go. Yep. Alert. Nine one one has been called. Police are on their way. Expect the worst. Answer me, God damn it! It's Sarah Beacon Lee, Lee St. John's. John. Okay, ID 5429009. Tell your men to stand down! St. John. She's up there! Damn it, it doesn't have to this go down like this! Login. Please? She's able to voice Come on, response. Get her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Okay. Oh, the hell with you! Oh, you should have left when you had the chance! This is authorized. My man, do you understand what an LMG sounds like? It sounds like this. <laughs> I, I swear I'm not a psycho. These boys are all using AKs. These boys are all using AKs. Drop. Up. There we go. Right. Oh. Hands. Don't shoot. Hands. Don't shoot. I give up. Get I give up. up. Don't shoot him. We need him alive. Oh God damn it! I said hands. All right. All right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. 
He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. I've seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David I'm... Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I classified don't know. Classified project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand what he means. I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's that? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. 
Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to be right there. Okay. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Let's uh let's go uh, turn off the fences. I don't think this is a good idea. I genuinely don't think this is a good idea. Oh hell no, it's not a good idea. Of course it's not a good idea. Uh oh I don't uh oh uh power building <laughs> Second crows. crows. Yeah, god damn it. Second crows. Let me in. Let me in. Wait, I need to burn. Where? There's. Ah, you stupid loser! That does it. Burn you little bastards. Where's the other one? Oh, you think so? Aha! Uh -huh. No. Right, let me in. Let me in. No, I just gotta jimmy that door. Oh! Yeah, Jimmy the no, no, no. Jimmy the door quickly, quickly before the stupid birds come back. That did it. Thank you. Okay, power <laughs> off. That should do it. There we go. Now let's get back to the bike. Uh Boozer, it's it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not going to get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. That you be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, Dee? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a- I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this- Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's a uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay? And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <sighs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. Hi. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. Right. John, this is Curry. Where are you? Oh, my, my God. I reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. 
Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. Colonel... Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen here. It's clear. Come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. Yes! <laughs> Finally! All that tension! Oh my god, remote bombs too. Excellent. Oh, someone I used to... <laughs> what do you want? 
you got something to say about it. Do you want a slap pen, right? Eh. Oh. Oh, great. It's uh, it's crashed. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end it here. Uh, we went, we went so far, and the game's literally just crashed. Uh, I'm really sorry, but this it's literally just crashed on me. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a thumbs up on this video. Leave a comment down below. If you've been enjoying this series, consider subscribing, ring the little bell, stay up to date with videos just like this as well, scum content and Sunday night streams. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go fix this and hopefully it's saved, but I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, as always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. Yeah. <laughs>